So which frame is better? That's a difficult question. You're watching Keep Rolling and today we're talking about the Wish Original versus Wish Medium frames. But hey, if we're just meeting for the first time, I'm Chris Chadwick and this is Keep Rolling, an inline skating channel where I'm making videos about aggressive and big wheel inline skating. And sometimes I'm doing product comparisons and reviews like this one, sometimes I'm doing tutorials, but I'm always discussing all things blading. So if that sounds like something that interests you, be sure to hit subscribe. So let's kick things off by talking about the similarities between these two types of frames. And the first way in which they're similar is that these are both high-low frames. And what that means is that these outer bolts are set higher than the inner bolts. So what that means essentially is that you can ride a large wheel like this 72 on the um, outside of the frame, so on the, on the furthest bolts. Um, and then you can ride a smaller wheel um, on the inside like this 60. So you get all of the kind of speed and control and turning benefits of riding a larger wheel, but without having um, a larger wheel on the inside, which is going to get in the way when you're grinding. So you kind of get the best of, of both of both worlds between the smaller wheels for the kind of you know better wheel bike protection, more compact setup, with those larger wheels set you know far away from the H block for all of the speed benefits. Another similarity between these two frames is they both offer exceptionally good wheel bike protection. So if you look for a moment at the uh, the Wish Medium frame, you see it's kind of got these kind of blocks that sit kind of close to the to the middle wheels. Um, and they, they give really good protection from wheel bike because when you're getting down on like a back rail, this tends to be kind of what slides along the ledge um, and just protects the wheel from, from hitting the surface and um, making you stick up. The H box are also really wide um, as well, which again kind of helps um, with a kind of quite a forgiving, a quite a forgiving lock on. So you know, if you're not really very accurate, as most people aren't when they first start skating flat, um, this is a really nice place to start. A really forgiving frame. So the wheel bike protection on both of these frames is really exceptional, um, and I'd say you probably get kind of better wheel bike protection on the original just because this H block um, is much is much kind of wider. Um, but I'll come on to that in a bit more detail uh, later on in the video. Both of these frames also offer a range of different wheel setups. And I've ridden the original frame with 72s on the outside, 60s in the middle. And I've also ridden it with, <laughs> where's it gone? I've ridden it with these 68s um, on the outside and uh, 56 is in the middle both um, really good setups and again um, you've got options when it comes to uh, the medium frame as well uh, but I've only ridden these with uh, 65s um, in the middle and 60s um, on the inside but if you go to the Wish website they've got a rock ring table which tells you all the different options um, of how you can set up your frames um, and I'll leave a link to that in the description below. Another similarity between these two frames is that they both are really well designed uh, the plastic's kind of nice and hard, um, but not too unforgiving. Haven't had any problems with them cracking. I think kind of aesthetically, you know, they just, they look great. Um, I really like the way these look on a range of different boots. I've had these on the SLs, I've had them on my Adapts, and I think they just look great. I think flat setups generally with with eight wheels, I don't know, they just look more kind of authentic, more like a skate should, um, in my opinion. But yeah, both frames, really well designed. Um, hardware is really good quality, no problems with any bolt stripping. They don't have like the, you know, like the sickle shaped bolts that kind of stop the bolt from turning. Um, but actually, most of the time I find I can still adjust these with one Allen key. Um, but yeah, they feel really solid. They feel really well designed. You can tell they put a lot of thought um, into these frames before they put them on the market. And that's definitely reflected um, in their performance. One other thing to bear in mind is that with both of these frames, you may find that you have to modify the base of the boot slightly, particularly to ride those larger wheels, um, like the 72s. Um, so you might just have to kind of dremel out a little bit of the base of the boot um, on each end just to make sure the wheels fitted. Um, I did have to do that on my SLs. It's not particularly difficult, um, but yeah, that is something to bear in mind um, when you are looking to get either of these frames with the larger wheel setups. So let's talk about the differences between these two frames now. So one of the main differences that you'll find is the length of these frames. 
So with the Wish um, original, they come in one wheelbase length, which is 281 millimeters. Wheelbase meaning the distance from the center of this bolt to the center um, of this bolt. And they are so long because you can ride, obviously, the 72 millimeter wheels on the outside. Um, so you need space for them to be able to fit in. And also because this age block is, is really wide, gives really good um, wheel bike protection, um, which is why it has to be as long as it is. So my recommendation would be that if you have a foot size kind of smaller than a UK 9, a US 10, that this frame is probably going to feel too long for you. But if you do have larger feet, then I think you'll definitely be able to kind of reap the benefits of this. I've got about a UK 10 and a half, 11 foot, and I really enjoyed the length of this frame. It felt great underneath, underneath the foot. It felt like a really stable, solid base, really nice to turn on. Um, and I didn't have any problems with the, with the length of this frame. It just translated into that really nice kind of cruising, large wheels, um, wide age block. Um, so I really enjoyed that. If you've got smaller feet, then I think the medium might be the way to go. Um, you've got choices with the length, so they do it in a 270, um, which is the large, and a 257, um, which is the medium or small. So two sizes, essentially, I'm overcomplicating this. There's a 270 millimeter wheelbase and there's a 257 millimeter wheelbase. The other difference you're gonna notice is the ride height. So the Wish um, original frame, as you can see, is a pretty tall frame and it needs to be to accommodate the much larger wheels. Um, so on this frame, if you're riding at 7260, you're looking at an effective ride height of 69.45 millimeters. So that's pretty tall. In terms of, in skating terms, in real terms, how that translates is that it just makes top sides, um, particularly on ledges, much more challenging. Your forwards, top sides, top soles, top acids, um, I didn't find it too bad. I found I could get I could get used to that. Uh, but alley oop and true spin top sides, particularly on angle iron or ledges, um, definitely really quite challenging. And was one of the reasons why eventually um, I did switch over to the medium frame, um, just because although there's a lot of benefits to those larger wheels, I just found that they that in certain circumstances for the kind of skating I was doing at the time, I just found they were holding me back um, a little bit. Um, so the medium frame, on the other hand, um, the specs of this is on a 65 on the outside, 60 on the middle, effective ride height of 64.75 millimeters. Um, so a little bit more civilized and kind of a bit more well-rounded, definitely much more forgiving when it comes to um, top side tricks on ledges. Another difference is the width of the H block. I touched a little bit on this, but as you can see, there is quite a difference in the width of these two H blocks. Um, this groove is just much more forgiving. Um, if you're new to uh, riding flat, it's, it's kind of comparable, more comparable to any rocker, um, to be honest. Um, just because that groove is so wide, it's just really forgiving. And I really didn't have any problems with wheel bite at all. It's some of the best kind of wheel bite protection um, that I've ridden on any flat frame. Um, the original still, um, you know, a really decent, really forgiving H block, um, but definitely not as wide as on the original um, and a little bit less kind of a little bit less forgiving but again it's still exceptional wheel bike protection um, and I didn't have any problems. The grooves also slightly different this one this original is quite worn down but the groove is generally much shallower um, on the on the original and I kind of found that it was easy to get into that shallow groove until you'd kind of worn in a bit, it was quite difficult to, to pivot round to switch up. It felt like I was kind of a bit stuck in that groove until um, I wore it in, um, particularly on rails. Um, but yeah, once I kind of got the hang of it, once I'd worn it in a bit, it was kind of more forgiving. But I think I prefer the profile um, of the groove on the medium frame straight out of the box. It was much easier to switch up, much easier to kind of pivot out of. Um, so that's just something to bear in mind when you're picking between the two. Moving on to how they feel on the roll. The original frame set up on the 7260 is a really awesome experience. Those larger wheels, you do just maintain your speed so well and it makes transition skating in particular so much more enjoyable. You know, you're not wanting to work as hard, you know, with your legs. Um, you just cruise around the corners, um, you know, the bowl or, or transition that you're skating. And it just makes it much more enjoyable, definitely. Um, you know, coasting around a skate park is so much fun um, on the original frame, particularly when it comes to riding um, bigger ramps. 
So which frame is better? That's a difficult question. I think if I had to choose, if I could only ride, you know, one of these frames, I think I would pick the original frame. And the reason being is that I think that that product is quite unique. Um, I don't think there's any other company that's doing a 7260 high-low frame, um, actually full stop. And certainly I don't think there's anyone who's doing it nearly as well. It's a unique product. It's got a lot going for it in that kind of speed stability department while with that really wide H block, you know, maintaining a really good grinding performance. So if I had to pick between the two, I would say I would get the original. But the medium is still a really good frame. But I think that there's other frames which are are just as good. Um, you know, the, the the Caltech frames are doing a really good job with you know with a high low setup and um, with those kinds of wheel sizes, um, and also the Solar Joe Atkinson frames, which I've been talking about a little bit on this channel recently, are also a really good high low frame. So for that reason, I think I'd pick the original frame, uh, but just because I don't think that there's anything else that compares to it. But the medium is still a really solid frame. But I think it just depends what's important to you. You know, if what you really want is um, you know, to really get that kind of great coast, that speed, that stability, while kind of maintaining the ability to grind really well, then I think the original could be for you if you've got um, a foot size which is large enough for it. Um, so if you want to, you know, cruise around on transitions, grind the coping, and also be able to skate between street spots, then the original is for you. If you want something that's more well-rounded, which you'll still get some really good speed and stability, still get a good coast on, have exceptional wheel bike protection, and also, you know, be able to do top side tricks really easily, then I would go for the medium frame. So I hope you found my insights in this video have been helpful and have helped you make a purchasing decision between the original and the medium frame. Give this video a thumbs up if you did get some value from it. And also let me know if you've ridden these frames, which one do you prefer and why? Drop a comment down below. Also, if you want to see more content from this channel, then consider subscribing. I'm Chris Chadwick of Keep Rolling. Thanks for watching. See you next time.